Hello everyone, welcome to a quick review of SkyRC's latest addition to the B6 charger lineup, the B6 Neo. The main selling point of this charger is uh, that it supports uh, PD 3.0 USB-C input. So that means if you have uh, any high wattage laptop or mobile charger like this I have from RAF Power, uh, you can use this instead of having to lug around um, a DC power supply. Let's go ahead with the unboxing. So the box has uh, the charger and a quick start manual. You're expected to have your own power supply or in this case, uh, a PD input. On the right side, we have an XT60 out with the balance plug. On the left, we have our usual XT60 input, 10 volts to 28 volts, in addition to a PD input in the shape of a USB-C. The charger is pretty compact. I'd say about the size of the Toolkit M7. We'll do a size comparison later on. Uh, let's go ahead and plug this in for now. I'm gonna start by using this RAF Power uh, 65 watt charging brick. So this shouldn't give us full power as uh, the charger can take up to 80 watts input. So, but we'll see how this goes first. There you go, boots up. And uh, as you can see on the screen here, it's showing us uh, the statistics. We're getting 60 watt at a voltage of 20 volts and three amps current. So this is pretty close to what the charger can supply. Let's start by going over some of the features of this charger. So we have three buttons for navigation, uh, up, down, and enter. So a pretty simple and straightforward charge menu. Um, let's go ahead and start charging this uh, 6S 1550 mAh tattoo lipo. I want to see if it auto detects. Yeah, so there you go. I picked up that it's a 6S lipo and it's charging. So at two amps, we're pulling about 46 watts. I'm gonna see if I can go higher than that. You can go up to 2C safely, but uh, so it was showing that we're taking three amps current. So I, let me see, I wanna see if I go 3.5 amps. So it's capped out at 46 watts and it's not pulling more than two amps with the uh, 65 watt RAF power charging brick. Um, let's try it with the 90 watt RAF power brick. This should be over the advertised 80 watt power delivery rating of this charger. So we'll plug in the battery. Uh, so we're getting the same uh, power of 60 watt with a voltage of 20 volts and current 3 amps. Let's see if I can get more than 2 amps out of this. No, it just appears to be locked at 2 amps, even with the uh, faster 90 watt charger. So let's go ahead and try the DC input with this uh, 12 volt, 17 amp power supply I have. So unlike when you plug in with the USB-C, uh, there's no statistics screen for the uh, uh, input voltage and current. Let's go ahead and see if we can get a good amount of current out of this. Uh, 
Uh, well, let's see if we can get 3.5 amps. There you go, 3.5 amps, no problem. We're getting 80 watts. Let's get, see if we can get five amps. So with the DC input, uh, it seems to behave just like any other LiPo charger. Uh, we're easily drawing five amps. That's 126 watts. And I'm sure this will go up to 200 watts. I don't really have a battery that I can safety test it on. So one last thing I wanna check is uh, if we can use a USB-A to USB-C cable and see what the voltage we're getting is. Because as you know, for full PD, we need a USB-C to C cable. So as you can see here, we're getting a reduced 18 watts with the, using the USB-A to USB-C cable. So if you want to get the full potential of this charger using USB-C, you will need a C to C cable, or you'll have to use a full size charger brick like this. The charger also has a DC power output. I don't know where that um, will go from. I don't know, maybe from the uh, PD port. We also have a battery checker. Let's go ahead and check that out now. So that's going to show us the voltages. Will it also show us the IRs. There you go. That's a resistance checker as well. Uh, we can see the IRs of each cell here. So here's the charger next to the Hota D6. Here's the charger next to uh, Toolkit M7. They're about the same size. I would say the B6 is slightly smaller, mm, about the same in weight as well. So that was my quick review of the SkyRC B6 Neo Charger. If there's anything I missed or any questions you guys have, please leave them down in the comments. I'll try to answer as many of them as I can. And thanks for watching. Goodbye.